Hey everybody, this is Kelly at Envy Soap Works, and I am just about to get started on another batch of cold process soap. What I'm going to be doing today is um, making a little bit more of a scent that is geared towards fall, I think. Um, I don't really do holiday soaps, but with the changing seasons, I kind of change my scents to a little bit more appropriate for the season. So what I'm going to be doing today is doing a mix of two Rustic Essentials fragrances. One is Black Cherry, which smells absolutely awesome, and the other is their Almond Cream. So essentially I'm going to be making um, in my own cherry almond scent, and hopefully it's going to be really, really nice. So I just got my clays and my goat milk in here, so let me get it um, incorporated really quick. And what I'm going to be doing color-wise for this soap is, I it says that the almond will discolor to a light, light tan, so I'm just going to go ahead and do kind of like a very um, kind of pinky tan color. It's called Latte. And then I have mixed up here kind of like a very dark Merlot type. Um, I mixed up a very dark purple and that ruby red from um, Micah's and more and then I'm going to be doing a very copper um, brown and then I'm going to be using a little bit of Fandango pink it is a lighter pink it's not as bright as um, like the voodoo or um, some of the other real bright ones I use it so it should be just like a nice pink so those are the colors I'm doing I'm gonna get my line here. Now the oils and butters that I have in this batch today are olive palm and coconut, avocado oil, babasu oil, um, argon oil, castor oil, and shea butter. All right, let's get this going. Well, I'm still being about 80 degrees right now. Okay, so we are at a light trace, and I think I'm going to do. Um, use my tall and skinny mold and do a hanger swirl for this one. I just think that those really, um, those colors like that purple and copper and the pink would just look awesome swirled together. If I can get a fine swirl, I think they will be um, absolutely gorgeous. So that is what I am going for. So let me get my cups over here so I can get split up for my colors. Oh, and I also want to have white. I also do want there to be white in um, the soap, so I will hold a little bit out for white because I'm going to put the taupe in my base. <clears throat>
this is our base color and the colors that we have mixed up. I think it's going to be nice and different. It's going to be muted, but this is kind of more like a fall soap. Um, so I was saying I don't like to make um, I don't like to make holiday soaps. You know, I don't know why. I just don't. So I'm going to mix a little bit of each one into each container and oh my gosh that cherry smells so good oh, that is ridiculously good oh my gosh that is so yummy let's see how these smell together oh i can't wait The scent of these two together are brilliant. I think it smells better than any already mixed, like ready-made um, cherry vanilla or cherry almond. It's a nice, nice um, combination to mix those two together. So if you're looking for a good cherry almond, Get those two from Rustic Essentials and blend your own. You will be thrilled. All right, time for the pour. So, let me see, what do I want to do? I hadn't really thought about it too much beyond that I was going to do some sort of a hanger swirl. So, let me just get a little bit of my base in there. It's actually not, um, it's not thickening up, so maybe I'll do just kind of a little drop pour here in the hanger. Oh my gosh, this smells so, so good. This is going to be really, really a really nice soap when it cures out if it if it doesn't fade out that is I hope it doesn't it's a really really nice scent Okay, so I'm going to be um, doing my hanger swirl, and I just want to do it very minimally because I kind of um, don't want to disturb too much I just did a couple of passes in a figure eight pattern. That is all I did in there. I don't want to um, mess up, you know, the drop swirl, you know, and um, muddy it up. I want it to just have a little bit of the hanger swirl look, how it pulls the color up, you know. Just need a tiny bit of that. So now I can go ahead and get everything on here, get my top on.
So I have got just about everything I can, my poor little wrist can stand to scrape out of these containers. I've got nearly every drop out. I just got a cramp in my wrist as I was doing this and I was just like, oh my gosh, have to get all this soap. <laughs> okay, so this is how it looks. Um, I am trying to decide what I want to do here on the top. If I want to let it set up a little bit and do a little bit of texture on it, or if I want to just go ahead and do my little swirl that I've been doing with the toothpick. Let me see. Yep, yeah, we're gonna go toothpick. Ooh, that's really pretty. I really like the look that that gives it. I think it's neat. Some really neat patterns going when you do it like that. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of gold glitter on this after I bang it down. So let me show you guys the top here. Okay, so this is my cherry almond. And I am really, really excited to give this one a cut and see what we were able to get on the inside. Hopefully I made a good choice by using the hanger and um, instead of just leaving the drop swirl alone. But tomorrow we will find out. See you guys in a sec. Bye. All right, it is time to cut some soap. I am so excited when I get to cut into these loaves. <laughs> it is my favorite part about soap making because it's just, you know, you're so excited to see what is inside these because it is always just such a mystery. So this one is definitely a mystery from the colors that I use to the hanger swirl, like just everything. I have no idea what to expect from the inside of this or that dark um, kind of taupe color that I used as a base. I don't normally do that. I normally just have a white base. So this will be um, a very different looking soap. Um, the fragrance on this is absolutely fantastic. It smells so good today. I am extremely, extremely happy with it. It is, again, the cherry almond. I mixed um, black cherry and almond cream from um, Rustic Essentials, and it has just made the best cherry almond scent I have ever smelled. It is fantastic. So, hopefully, <laughs> what I have going on inside here will do um, this beautiful scent justice. So, let's take a peek. Oh, I do love it. Perfect for almond cream. Oh my goodness. Love that um, kind of dark red, you know, purpley red color. Very, very pretty. Yay! That is pretty close to what I had in mind um, at, for what I was wanting for the look of this soap. And so, of course, I am happy with it. Um, man, this fragrance just smells so amazing. I can't even tell you how good it smells. Oh, wow, look at that. That is cool. Interesting. Look at that. How different. I do like it. I think that is a neat look. What else we got? Oh, wow. It just keeps changing. Every cut is different. Ooh, look at that pink color. I almost forgot that it was, there was in there. I haven't really noticed it until now. That very pink stripe. Look at that side. That is so, I think that is really neat. This is really pretty and I'm happy with the top. It is just very pretty. I put gold glitter on there, of course. <laughs> Nice. Oh, I'm cutting these huge again. I just always do that. I had Robert smell this and he was just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> he doesn't normally comment when I have him smell anything. He's normally, I just kind of get like a grunt and a 
nod, but he was like, oh my gosh, that smells so good. So I really can't wait for this one to be ready to use. I do think it's very pretty and I, I do like um, that kind of tannish base. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to like that, but I do. I do like it. I think it fits the scent perfectly and the colors I think are very soothing and beautiful together. So, on the top. So I wanted to say thank you to the people who have recently placed an order with NB Soap Works. I so appreciate that, you guys. And I so appreciate the awesome reviews that you've left me. Um, that means a lot, and it is really helping me to, um, you know, stay busy and be able to keep, um, keep soaping. You know, I have to sell my soaps in order to soap because it is an expensive um, hobby if you're not um, if you're not selling your soaps at all it can get really costly so I really do appreciate the people who are um, purchasing these soaps from me again thank you thank you I so appreciate it oh look at this one I love the colors in this I wish you guys could smell it because it's like the look of it and the smell is just like so pleasing. <laughs> but you guys can't smell it. You can only see it. So I hope you like this soap because it's. I think it's mostly the smell that I'm in love with. Oh, that one is really pretty. I am. I'm very happy with the way that this um, turned out. When I was planning the colors and the swirl. I was really, really hoping for something like this. And this is the last cut. Let me see if I can take a little bit off the back because I don't like the look of that. <clears throat> okay, so there's nothing. The back is pretty plain. But Okay, yay! So you guys, this is Cherry Almond, and I am extremely happy with the way that this looks, the colors, the scent, everything about it um, worked out just perfect for what I had in mind. So I really love it when things work out like that. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next video. Bye!